One of the largest power companies in the South is in the midst of a sizable solar experiment. We wanted to compare different solar photovoltaic technologies to see which worked best here in the Southeast. We're on the roof of the Georgia Power Building with John Kraft here in Midtown Atlanta. This is where seven different types of solar panels sit, each individually gathering data on the state's climate and weather patterns, all in the hopes of saving you, the consumer, money. We've spent a couple of years gathering data, we got a lot of data out of the system. End of 2012, we uh, took that data and started analyzing what it was telling us. Here's how it works. Photons from the sunlight hit a substance on the panels that excite a flow of electrons. That energy is then stored and used in the home or business. While the sun is a great thing, it turns out the intense heat isn't. The folks here at Georgia Power say the hotter the panel, the less efficient. So in the middle of summer, you'd think would be a great time for solar, and it is because you've got a lot of sunlight, long days, but you also have the panels heating up, and so they become less efficient. Spring has actually turned out to be the highest producing time. And you can track along with Georgia Power on the company website to see how each one of the seven panels responds in its own way to the hot, humid, and often hazy conditions of the South. The investment in this technology isn't cheap. It costs the home or business owner thousands of dollars just to install the panels. And there are other considerations. You charge up battery systems during the daytime, then you've added another cost of having batteries in there. So that's all part of the equation. And what is the backup power? You have to have something for nighttime, for cloudy days, rainy days. So we're looking at the whole picture to make sure that our customers have reliable and affordable power. I'm meteorologist Julie Martin, The Weather Channel.